Hey guys, I got new tires on the van. They're all terrain tires. They're the KO2 225-75-16s. We took them for a test drive and I think I'm gonna be really happy with them. So I'm testing out the new tires, see if it feels any different. I'm just kind of going through some back roads here in the neighborhood. I know there's one area here that gets pretty bumpy. So one thing I'm glad about is that it doesn't really seem to be that much louder. I was afraid that the new tires would make it really loud in here, but it's not. On this road here, I'm able to get up to about 60 miles an hour, but I'm hoping to get off on some dirt road here. I don't know if there's too much in this area that's going to really test the tires much, but we'll see. Well, I'm on a graded road, and I think this is probably about as rough as it's going to get in this area. But yeah, I needed new tires, and... I wanted to get some that were meant for all terrain. And that way I'll feel more secure when I'm out on some of those pitted roads and stuff that I know I'll be running into in other areas. After this, I have to give the van a good bath. So. <laughs> I should go around it. It would suck to get stuck. But I mean, we're, I, would, I would know what it's capable of then. I guess just go for it. So that part back there was kind of fun. Um, I felt the van sink a little bit into that sand and kind of do this number here. But other than that, it, it seemed like it handled it fine. And I don't see myself going through super rough stuff, but that makes me feel a lot better about some of the roads that are pitted and stuff. And then of course, these aren't mud tires. So if it were rainy, and I'd want to try to avoid those, I think. Yeah, so that's an initial test. I'll get lots of opportunities to test it in the future. We noticed we had a frog riding with us. <laughs> I guess he hopped along. We'll get him back safely to his normal environment. <laughs> so let me give you a closer look at the tread on these tires. It has a pretty thick tread and the spaces between the tread, you can see here, is fairly close together. And that's because it's designed more for like rocky terrain, sand, snow, that sort of thing, than mud. They're not really designed for really thick mud. The mud can get caked inside here, and then you end up having to try to get the mud out to keep them from getting slick. This is what I've seen from all the reviews anyway. <laughs> But we had to make a choice and we decided to go with these and I think they're going to help me when I get out west especially and I'm on some of those rocky dirt roads with a lot of sand and things like that. And here in Florida, we're dealing with a lot of sand. We don't have to deal with snow, but this will also give me some traction in the snow hopefully. <laughs> Although I'm going to be avoiding snow, <laughs> at least for a little while. <laughs> 
Anyway, let me show you what else I have planned to work on this week. So this is something I started working on a while ago and then I put it away for a little while and I'm just now getting back to it. But it's the counter surround that goes around the kitchen sink area in the van. So what I'm doing is I'm working on a sketch and I'm just drawing it out in color pencil and I'm, I'm putting it on mylar because it's transparent and I want to take into account the grain that's in the wood. Once I have this, this sketch finished, I'll be transferring it onto the wood and then I'll be staining it with this Windsor & Newton oil paint. And I have an initial coat on the wood here of polycrylic and it's just a thin coat because I don't want it to comp I want the oil to absorb just a little bit. I'm trying to give this the look of stain like as if I'm doing the design in a stain. And so far this is what I've done in the oils. It's not finished. So when what you won't see any of the the like pencil marks and stuff that are here when it's done. And then it'll receive another coat of polycrylic. So you might be wondering why I decided to go with oils when it takes so long to dry. But the reason is because I like the transparency of the oil. It actually allows me to still see some of this grain that's in the wood coming through the paint. Also, I'm used to working in oils. I love the way they are so workable and I can put it on and then kind of pull out the highlights and it just gives it this glow that I didn't seem to be able to achieve when I was experimenting on the wood with the acrylic. I still haven't even worked out the design that's going on this piece which actually goes right over here on this end here and then What's really going to be kind of difficult is when I have to work on this piece here, which I'm not going to put a lot on this. I'm going to keep this very simple because it's a weird angle to kind of be working and it's already in. So that's why I wanted to do these before putting them in and then hope I don't mess them up when I go to put them in. But I think it's going to look really cool and I'm looking forward to showing you guys when it's done. It won't get done today. Uh, I'm going to be working on this sort of simultaneously with this bulkhead wall here, which I'm putting a design on. The bulkhead wall, well, it'll never be finished because it's an ongoing, ever-changing art wall that I'm going to have in the van. But I'll talk about that more while I'm working on it. So I've procrastinated on this wall long enough. <laughs> I'm going to get started on it. I think what I'm going to do is just start by laying in some structural elements, kind of a grid that I can work off of and go from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have no idea what this is going to look like when I'm done. Uh, that's just the way I work. I don't have a preconceived notion of, of what I'm going to be putting on here. I do have kind of an idea of how I want it to look. These geometric elements that I'm putting in right now, I'm going to be taking the tape off and put and lining them out. I was just using the tape so I can visualize if they're somewhat straight for now. But those geometric elements may or may not be pronounced in the painting. You may not see them, they may be completely gone. But this gives me a starting point. The hardest part uh, for me of starting any kind of painting or drawing is interrupting that blank surface. Because once I start, <laughs> I just have to go for it. Uh... It always seems to work out though. Here we go. <laughs> Like I was saying before, this wall is going to be an ever-changing art wall because, you know, when I get sick of looking at it, and I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this van, so, you know, I'm going to want change. And so by working in kind of this grid structure, I can easily go through, change elements just to fit my mood at the time. What I like today, you know, I might not like you know, a year from now, two months from now. <laughs> so the, the method I use, it tends, I tend to do a lot of automatic drawing. That's just working from my subconscious, laying in shapes and not really planning where it's going to go. And I do have some ideas of some representational elements I'm thinking right now I might like to have in there but by the time I get to them I may change my mind and also uh, I'm a lot of times I'll put things in and then end up by the time I'm done completely removing them like this that you're seeing right now that I highly doubt that's going to be there <laughs> later <laughs> but that's just the way, way it is uh, I enjoy the process like that. If I were to plan the whole thing out ahead of time, it would feel like it was already finished kind of, uh, you know, in my head and I, it would just be tedious trying to lay it all out. Instead, I'm coming up with it as it progresses and it doesn't get boring to me that way. So I'm going to keep working on this and get a little further along. Hopefully next week I can give you a hint of where it's going and periodically after that, I'll probably definitely be bringing the acrylic into it pretty quick and you'll get to see that also. So, <laughs> I know this video was kind of short this week because this takes so long, you know, it's gonna be you know, it'd be really a boring video if I just started and showed you a video from beginning to end. It'd probably be months from, from now that you'd see it. So, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see the progress of this as it evolves. Uh, well, I'll see you next week. <laughs>